It's time for praise. So I invite all those who would like to come join us and shake an instrument and uh, help us out leading Shine, Jesus Shine, to come on up. We've been singing a lot about light shining this morning with the anthem from the choir, this little light of mine. And now shine, Jesus shine. I'll go into you. Charity, what are you fixing to do? Hey, I like your little apron, by the way. You mean, what are we fixing to do? I'm a ready to cook with you, and a little onion to make some great Cajun. I'm ready to flap my lips on some southern grits. <laughs> I think you've been watching a few too many cooking shows. Yeah, I guess you're right, Grace, but I am ready to cook with you. But we aren't cooking this morning. Everyone's already eaten. But I saw you loading up salt and bowls and stuff. I thought we were gonna do some cooking. And I know that's your baking bowl. Believe me, I know that bowl. Last time you used it to make your famous pizza. 
peanut butter cookies. Mmm. You do like peanut butter cookies, but Charity, we are not cooking. We're talking about salt and light this morning. Just talking? Yes, that's the lesson for today. Okay, okay. Let's talk seriously about salt. It won't take too long. There isn't that much to say about salt. Salt is salt. We add it to our cookie recipes. It tastes salty. And it is salty. All done. Well, how about this? Did you know salt can lose its salty flavor and can become dirty? Really? Yes. Some salt is very dirty. You wouldn't want to cook with that kind of salt. They put it on the roads in the winter so the cars won't slide off in the ditch when it's icy. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing that on our road. And they put it in front of the stores, too, so people could walk on it and not fall down. That's right. You wouldn't want to use that kind of salt in your peanut butter cookies. Oh, yuck. Those would be really crunchy peanut butter cookies. They would be all gravelly and gritty. That's right. And do you know that Jesus said, you are the light of the earth? Like the salt people walk on? No, not the gritty kind. God wants us to be like pure salt. Pure salt was prized by people. When we are kind and loving to others, we're showing the good qualities that God prizes in us. So that makes us the salt of the earth. Hey, if we're not cooking, what is the bowl for? Charity, you have perfect timing. Ah, uh, uh, wait, wait, now I'm in the dark. <laughs> yes, well, the bowl is for the second part of what Jesus said. You are the light of the world. Remember that song called This Little Light of Mine? We have to let our, our light, Jesus' light, shine for all to see and not hide it. We can do that by showing others the love God has for all of us. Hey, I can understand that, because that's like when our family went camping and my brother hid the flashlight in his sleeping bag. And when it got spooky, I got scared. He kept saying, the light is on, the light is on. But it wasn't on for me. He had the light on in his sleeping bag, and I was in the dark. Well, what happened? I told him I was scared, and he kindly put the flashlight in the middle of the tent, so we all had light. Well, see, that's what God's talking about. He wants us to be kind and good things for, do good things for other people. God put us on this earth to be the seasoning and the light bearers. That's how we can make a difference in our world. We are showing other people who God is when we act with love and kindness. So then we're the light of the world. I know I like a light in the dark, and I sure do like the salty taste of peanut butter cookies. So we don't want to lose our God flavoring or hide our God light. Hmm, you know, I guess we can be called salt and light. Yep. Well, in that case, see you later, salt. See you later, light. <laughs>